For his last illusion tonight, the magician will take on one of the most death-defying escapes ever attempted. Remember, never try to duplicate any of the magician's tricks at home. This is a very perilous stunt that our world-class professional has been practicing for months. As we can see, giant steel blades provide the danger in this illusion. This triangular-shaped box will provide the magician's prison. The razor-sharp blades are held at the ends of the steel rails by a rope. Inside the box is a beautiful assistant, but she'd be crazy to stay inside because that box is directly in the path of those terrifying blades. The magician releases a safety cable on one of the blades. Now things are getting dangerous. Next, he crosses over to release the cable on the other blade. Now a single rope is holding the blades in place. Again, do not attempt anything like this at home. The magician climbs into the box and the door is closed. His assistants secure his hands on the outside of the box. His wrists are locked with heavy chains and bulletproof locks. With his hands shackled on either side of the box, the magician has no way to reach the chains or pick the locks. His goal will be to escape before the blades travel down the rails and into the box, slicing him to ribbons. the blades begin to rotate. He struggles with the chains. Better hurry, those blades won't wait. Next, the other assistant returns with a torch. She uses the torch to set fire to the rope. When it burns through, the blades will be sent crashing into the box and the magician. His hands are free, but he's not out. There they go. They slammed into the box, and he didn't get out in time. They're still spinning. All hope of escape is now lost. The executioner is back to open the box. This won't be pretty. He's gone. Where did he go? Right here, of course. The magician is turned into the executioner, safe and sound, with his beautiful girls by his side. We just saw the magician being locked into this triangular cabinet and escape before these giant steel blades of death tore him to pieces. How did he do it? Here are the secrets. At the start of the illusion, the magician reveals an assistant inside the triangular box. This is to show that there isn't much room inside the box. But there is room, and she wasn't alone. Hidden behind this false panel is the magician's body double. He's in place before the magician ever steps inside. When we see the magician climb into the cabinet, he's really just slipping out through the back.
From behind, we can see him sneak out, leaving his double inside. The double then slides back to replace the magician, and it's his hand we see being shackled and chained. Next, the double flips a switch to activate the blades. Then his other hand is locked in place, and the audience thinks the magician is secured in the cabinet and struggling to escape. Meanwhile, the magician is being wheeled off stage inside the staircase the assistants use to reach the top of the box. With the spinning blades and flaming torches, the audience doesn't even notice that the girls are taking the staircase off stage. Next, the executioner enters to light the rope and add some danger. Off stage, the magician is slipping into an identical executioner's rope. Now, while the rope is burning, we see the double slip out of the manacles. But how? He simply slides his hands out of the chains and into the box because the chains have been rigged. The metal frame that holds the chains contains a spring-loaded pulley, which allows him to slide the chains out, releasing enough slack to slip his hands through. The audience thinks they see the flames burn through the rope, sending the blades into the box. But inside, it's really the double pulling a ripcord and releasing the blades. The burning rope is just for dramatic effect. But how does the double escape being sliced to shreds by the blades? With the front of the box open, we can see that the blades are carefully positioned to enter the front half of the box. Plenty of room. Next, the magician takes the torch from his assistant and returns to the stage. We don't even stop to think it's really him. He opens the box to reveal the blades, and we can't see the double behind the false panel. He removes the cloak and reveals himself as the executioner. He may have fooled you once, but he won't fool you with this one again, now that you know the secrets.